Welcome to AFTV. I have my guy, Javan Wade, good friend of mine, Liverpool fan. I thought I'd bring on a rival fan. Now, as you can see, he's happy. I, I've done this many a times where I've brought on a rival fan and we haven't lost. This is the first time I've brought on a rival fan and we've lost. And we've lost in terrible fashion today. Bro, I'm hurting. Go easy. Because I know you love to cuss. I, I, know you like I, to just, I just, I just, I just want to ask, would you have gone easy on me? When you called me, Sess, and you said, yo, <laughs> Arsenal Fan TV, come and chat to me. If we lost today, mm. would you have gone easy on me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man would have been easy. I'd have been calm. Uh, I do, I do, I do. Uh, do you know what? Uh, let, me, let me be sensible about it. It wasn't, even, it wasn't even the fact that we won. It was the fashion in which we won. I just want to... What happened, in, in your know. opinion? Because you lot played absolutely... I, I don't even have the words for you, bro. Mm. Like, in every single department, I was literally listening to our chat. I'll give you his... Um, give his feedback and every single department we slaughtered you yeah, and they're, they're, like I had one of my boys here he's a, he's a big Arsenal fan he was talking tough about Gabriel the whole time and the moment he started bigging him up all of a sudden my man starts having a nightmare as well what happened uh, bro he was my man of the, he was my man of the month Gabriel I thought, yeah he's he's our best player today he didn't have his greatest game but listen it happens bro it does happen I, do you think Liverpool played really well that's what I want to know from your right. side what, what, what I would say is I don't think that we played astounding. I think that we played, um, it's the best that we played in a little while. I think yep. it's the best that we played since probably Palace. Um, but at the same time, I think that we've been playing well. We've been playing uh, well, well, until we got to that kind of lulling moment where we started to, to stop breaking teams down. We was yep. in a position where, you know, how teams would set up, which is similar to how Arsenal set up today. Yep. Very, very, very often not leaving us enough space at the back between the keeper and between the last line of defence. And we struggled to break that down. And I think mm. that at one stage, you know, our front three were firing to the point where we were able to overcome that. But, you know, we, we, we went for a whole rally of games where that wasn't enough. But Diego Jota... Bro, I was just I about to you, lead on. To, I was is, just about is, to lead on. He is our, sa our saviour right now. What is what is going on, bro? What are you what's he being fed? Because internationally he's been on fire. When he when the camera panned to him when he was getting coming on, I said, bruv, this is it. I said, This yeah, you yeah. see this? This yeah. is it. And he yeah. come on, he did a madness, bro. He did a madness. You gotta keep you gotta listen. I said to the man, I was so happy when I see him come on on the on the you know 60th minute. Because a lot of the time we'll leave them kind of substitutes to the 66, 68, and there ain't you know what I mean that time to affect the game. But by the time he come on. It was like, okay, cool. We can really affect something now. And I was also uh, happy that we didn't take off any of the front three. That gave yeah. us a nice opportunity. Went 4-4-2 with the opportunity of really, you know what I mean, putting that attack in and going all out. Because at the end of the day, if we lost that game, if we're not going to get fourth, then it doesn't really matter where we finish. So it was like, yeah. let's go all out. Let's try and challenge for this. And with Chelsea's loss today as well, put us in really good stead and put us in a place where, yeah, man, it was... It, it, it's, it's, look, it's looking all right for you. It's, it's, not, looking good for, it's not looking it's, good for us. Nah, it's, looking yeah, right it's, you. It's, it's actually it's painful. Up. Yeah, Jay, it's, it's painful. I want to quickly just ask as well, like, do you think you can actually get top four? Is that, will you be happy? Well, do you expect One, to get top four? 100%. Chelsea's still got to play City. I don't see him winning that game. There's still a couple of games where, you know what I mean, it's going to be a little difficult for them. Um, yeah. The run of games in which we've got, we've got a couple of games in which are going to be difficult, but overall, no, nah, I think, I think we, we definitely set ourselves up into a nice position and also we've got the morale. We've got, you know, We'll see what happens in the Champions League this week and see how we face against Real Madrid. Mm. Yeah, and and uh, you know, I pray we win that game, not just for the Champions League, but also to keep morale for us to keep going and actually be able to challenge us for the for the for the full spot. Yeah, it's mad. Like the game was like the thing that happened. What happened? What yeah, told it for me is Jota come on for you. We brought on El Neni. Like we, it's like we was happy with a draw. I don't know what was going on, but we we brought on a, a defensive midfielder um, to to. Um, Go come in for Sabios, then you brought on Jota, and I was like, it, this just says it all. Like you guys are going for it, and we're we're trying to maintain, and it just it just mm. went to it went to pop, man. But it talk to me about Abamian. Yeah, bro. What, 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 what? Where was he today, bro? He was... I'm trying to find him. I'm, I think he's in the barbers. He's, he's trying twisting. to find him. He's trying to find himself. Word, he's, he's still I, I... twisting up his hair. Like, listen, yeah. he's got mad mad credit in the bank for me, but. He just, I, just today and recently, of recent, he's been quiet. Um, yeah. We've had troops here as well um, today um, down at AFCV, and he was saying the same. And we know he's an advocate for Bamian, but he was like, "Bro, he's not doing anything. He's not doing enough for us, and he's not. He's right." Um, but today he was missing again, man. It's mm. it's been tough. It's, a, it's been tough for us to see. It's been tough for you guys as well. But you, see, of course, things 
turn around when you play Arsenal. Of course, that's that's just how it happens, 100%. bro. Like, yeah, yeah, but you know, Arsenal. Well, let, let me ask you if you if you could sit in a room with Arteta with the Arsenal team right now, what what would you be saying to them? What what would you think would start to maybe shift at this turn of events that you're going through right now? What what's, I, I just I how'd just you, how'd you get yourselves out of the jam? Yeah, that's what it is. I want to know where the mentality is at, Jay. If I'm honest, I don't know what's going on. Like, our consistency levels at the club right now are absolutely they're, they're abysmal. They're absolutely abysmal. And and yes, we've had injuries. We've got players out. I mean, the likes of Saka, Mill Smith Rowe, they're youngsters, but bro, they hold up our team, bro. I, don't, I can't believe I'm saying that, but they really do. Um, so I'll just I'll be asking about their mindset. It's like it's like the it's like the players don't feel the Premier League's important. And I know a lot of fan base are like, well, we're not really playing for much now. But the players shouldn't have that mentality. They should be, they should have pride. They should be fighting for the badge, fighting for their position, fighting for their place. And bro, it's just been, yeah. it's terrible. Um, before, I, I want to ask you quickly as well, it's like back and forth, I like this. I want to ask you quickly, who is your standout player? Because obviously they gave Jota the man of the match. Are you going with the same man of the match for Liverpool? Or have you got someone else in mind that you thought had a really good game? I think the man that scores the goals and puts you in is always going to be, you know what I mean, top of the top of the list in that regard. But I would have to go with Alexander Trent. I thought he had an outstanding game. I yeah. thought that um, also ahead of, you know, not being picked. The only reason why I can see Gareth, um, Gareth Southgate not picking him is because mm. of some kind of defensive tack that he wants. But yeah. Trent, bro, like Trent, he's the best right back in the league. And I don't mm. understand why he why he wasn't selected. Yeah, he went for a drought, but since he came back from injury, he's been back at the level in which he needed to be. The team hasn't, but Trent as an individual has been playing well. We just haven't been converting. So, um, yeah, it was a nice kind of kick in the kick in the face for for Gareth today to let him know that look, you've made a mistake, and that yeah. we played an outstanding game. So I give it to to Alexander Trent. Yeah, Jay, I rate that because I was I'm gonna be honest, I was cussing Trent in my pre match show like, right, he's falling off. And then he comes and gets an assist. <laughs> yeah, like, he oh. heard you. He heard you. He heard that man heard you. That's yeah, why you got slapped today, Sess. All right, now it's coming out. I was that's, how got, that's how you got slapped <laughs> today. Yeah. yeah, watch. Listen, watch. Yeah. Back to the UK. That's you why you got slapped today, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was about to wrap up the show. I was about to wrap up the fan cup. Like, thanks yeah, for wrap watching. it up. Wrap and now, it up. here it is. Done. Here it is. This it's is the Javad I know, for real. <laughs> All right, listen, before we go, um, yes. <laughs> should have wrapped, I should have wrapped up five minutes early, but... Listen, if you've got anything you want to shout out, let them know where to find you, what you're doing. Just give them a quick, just tell, them, tell them what you need to tell them. 100%. Guys, shout out to you lot. I know you're going through a tough time, but it will get better. I promise you. Um, but yeah, you can catch me on the IG at Javan Wade. Catch my films, my short films, my TV show, Doom Patrol, DC and HBO Max. Um, and yeah, man. And you can find me everywhere, probably everywhere you can't find a Bamiyang right now because he's out finding himself. Much love. Right, Peace. listen, everyone, Glad thank you for watching. Jay, thanks for speaking with us. I'll see you when you're back in the UK. Eh?